you can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. In each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. And I don't know what you're going through right now, but I need you to remember, if you can find a why for living, you can endure almost any how. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. Let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. When anything that could go wrong does go wrong, what makes it worth it to you to keep pushing forward? What keeps you going? If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving, and keep growing. I'm glad this happened. This is a chance to get better. This is a chance to improve myself and my situation. I can do this. I can handle this. I got what it takes. If you want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. When you're getting attacked by life, you're going through the worst pain you've ever felt. And you can find those reasons that make you strong enough to keep going. You will find a way through it. You'll shift your inner dialogue from why does this have to happen to me? I don't deserve this. I can't handle this to good. Find those goals that mean something to you. Write them out, read them every day. Develop a plan of action. Make up your mind that you have the power within yourself to reinvent you. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this shit. It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. And you think greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. The only thing that goes on sale is cheap stuff. The real high quality stuff, it costs what it costs. They're not trying to get somebody average to buy it. You got to have a certain amount of money or you ought not to be in here. Greatness costs what it costs. And what is it that makes it worth fighting for? When you're getting trampled by life, when everything is working against you, If you can focus your mind on it, you can change it. You don't like the way your life is going. You have the power to change it. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be a quitter. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. As long as you decide to change your mind. Everybody gets dirt put on them at one point or another. And that's the moment. That teaches you to withstand it. It gives you something to push through. So when you feel like giving up, don't. When it looks like you're not going to make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, ignore them. When they tell you you're not going to make it, do not believe them. You got to become fucking relentless. Never stop, never quit. You gotta have some strong reasons for why you're doing this because when you get out into the arena of life, you're gonna get your ass kicked and your reasons will be the only thing that will keep you going. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. 
When the dream is worth it to you, you'll go through hell to get it. Who cares how long it takes? What matters is that if it's something that gives your life value, you'll do whatever's required when you feel that it's worth it. You don't need any guarantees if things will work out. You don't need to know the outcome because you know that you'll either find a way or make a way. When it's worth it, you exert greater effort and greater effort releases the creative genius in you. You can make every dream you've ever had a reality, but you've got to be willing to stand and fight for it. You've got to be willing to give up your time for it. Give up your peace, give up your blood, give up your sweat, give up your tears, give every single thing you possibly can to that dream. What most people do is once you get stressed in the process, you don't want it anymore. You give up, you fold, you quit, you're through. But in order to develop, in order to become the best version of yourself. Stress is necessary. See, a seed has got to have dirt on top of it in order to grow and develop. Dirt builds character. Dirt gives you the push through factor. Dirt makes you fight through it when you don't feel like fighting anymore. And while you're suffering from self-doubt, other people are intimidated by your full potential. When you commit yourself to do better, that's the moment you start to see real change. The very first level is you seeing it. You gotta know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like, because you know you won't compromise. The most important thing is your passion. You win with your heart, not your head. You win on emotion, not on logic. The most important thing to winning is the power of believing in you. The power of believing that you can win. The power of believing that good things will happen to you. The power of believing that you're special. When you go out in there and you start going at it passionately and working with it and working with it and working with it, it will reveal its secrets to you. And you discover things about yourself that you don't know right now. There is a price tag to greatness. Nobody's gonna hand it to you. You've gotta grind for it. You've gotta stick with that thing for as long as it takes and pay whatever price is required. You must believe that you can. And once you want something and believe that you can get it, you gotta block out all the noise around you that's gonna tell you you can't do it. Don't listen to all that sh Listen to yourself, that voice within you that tells you that it is possible, that there is a way for you to be successful in this business, in this career, in this life. In this situation that you're in, your life is at stake. You are fighting for your life every day. By the way that you live it, the mark that you're gonna leave, the legacy that you're gonna leave, all that is gonna come back to you. That is your life. So don't sit back and be on the defense and allow life to happen to you. Don't do that. Instead, go on the offense. Go on the attack. Become the aggressor. Be the one that life is afraid to mess with.